Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will be checking a new kit from ICM. As you can see this is a 135 scale car and it copies model T1917, it's a utility version and as written here it's World War One Australian Army car. So this vehicle might come handy for some interesting diorama bit with vehicle and some let's say first World War tank or maybe just a sole vehicle and several figurines. As you can see we have this beautiful box art on the front and box is not that big here you can see comparison with my hand. It's also quite thin, I would say surprisingly thin for such kit. Here we have short history note and some information about the kit. So there are 99 parts inside which should assemble into vehicle with 103 mm length. So it should be quite small model. And here we can see one of the marking options which is also shown on the box art of this kit. As for the box structure, it's quite typical. We have flexible top part, which is cover printed as you can see. And then we have sturdy white cardboard box with all components inside. As you can see, it's also top opening. I mean, we have this special flap. Assembly manual is on the top, so let's start with it. And then we will continue to plastic parts. So, format here is quite typical for this manufacturer as well. We have short history note, which is written in Russian and English. Also paints chart is here, then we have parts map, note that many parts won't be used. Small decal sheet which should come handy for several marking options which are included into this kit. So let's zoom in a bit and here you can see. Printing quality is quite nice so I really doubt that you encounter any problems while applying these decals on your model. And assembly process starts with engine, so even though the finished vehicle will be quite small, it still will have a detailed engine and it will fuel tank, transmission, suspension parts, everything is present here, so you can even replicate a damaged vehicle out of this basic out-of-the-box build. And here you can see that in total you will have to perform 55 steps in order to have this complete vehicle with starting vehicle, with starting handle inside. And this is a marking guide for two marking options. As you can see, there is not that much difference. Maybe the symbols on the doors, and that's pretty much all. But of course, this version with clover leaf should be interesting to replicate as well. So that's assembly manual. Now we move to plastic parts. There are several plastic sprues inside, and they're packed into the same plastic bag, which is quite typical for ICM. I'm not surprised here. And now just give me a second to remove them out of the plastic bag. So first one is dedicated to all minor components which are included into this kit. We have plastic wheels which is an obvious advantage of this kit. You won't have to waste your time with vinyl tires and separate rims. But from the other side you will have to be careful while painting these tires because they are molded as one piece parts and therefore you will have to be let's say quite precise with your brush. Here you can see steering wheel, here you can see separate cooling parts. The small handles look quite nice and I will even zoom camera so that you can see them closer. Of course you can also replace them with metal wire, but the final choice will be up to you. I mean even these standard out of the box parts look quite good and I think they deserve to be installed into the place. Next we have separate plastic bag with transparent sprue. Now just give me a second to open it and I will show it to you. Molding quality straight away I can say that it's really nice. I don't see any problems with it. And parts are clear and crisp. Here they are. The only thing you will need for them is masks because these are not included into this kit and you will have to buy them or cut them with your own hands. And that might be tricky because even the headlamps should be masked. Next we have last grey plastic sprue. This one is the biggest one in this kit. And why? Because here we have the main body part which is which combines side elements together with the main frame. Also we have some body parts and some external elements for the minor detailing. Again molding quality is really nice. Here for example you can see the front grille which is molded together with leaf springs and as you can see there is also pre-molded uh, detailing which should look better after some dry brush and applied on it. 
And of course, you know, the attachment points. Attachment points look quite good and I think it won't be difficult to cut through them. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to read full review article here below. There should be a link for the review article. And of course, if you want to help us, if you would like to see more video reviews like this, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook group so that we can see you and share with you more interesting and new reviews. And of course, don't forget that we have donate button on our website. We are gathering money for the new camera for better videos, so it will be helpful if you contribute some. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.